Good Thursday afternoon, Western Montana. I'm Emily Foster, and this is the 406, the Missoulians weekday webcast. Here are the top headlines at this hour. Montana Senator John Walsh said today he is pulling out of the Senate race because his campaign was distracted by allegations that he plagiarized a U.S. Army War College research paper. The New York Times reported July 23rd that Walsh had plagiarized large portions of the research paper in 2007. Walsh will serve out the rest of his Senate term, which ends in early January 2015. Montana Democrats now have until August 20th to name a new candidate to represent their party on November's ballot. Representative Steve Day is the Republican candidate. The death of a man whose body was pulled this week from the Clark Fork River was labeled as a homicide this morning. A state medical examiner says 36-year-old Gilbert George Berry's death was not consistent with drowning. Authorities say Berry was a transient from Pennsylvania. They say Berry was assaulted, shot, and dropped in the river. He was found on Tuesday west of Grove Street. The incident is under investigation. A former nurse convicted of having sex with a man in the custody of the state corrections program has been sentenced to 15 years in prison. A judge sentenced Tisha Ann Brunell to 25 years with 10 suspended for two counts of sexual intercourse without consent. She will not be eligible for parole until she completes two phases of sexual offender treatment. Prosecutors want three children to testify against their father, a state senator charged with assaulting his four-year-old daughter in February. Jason Scheller, priest of Red Lodge, has pleaded not guilty to several assault charges. Prosecutors say priest threw his daughter through a doorway, tried to push his wife down some stairs, tackled her boyfriend, and struggled with police. And people heading to the ZZ Top and Jeff Beck concert tomorrow at Algren Park will have plenty of parking options. The parking lot opens at 3 and costs $10. There are also lots open downtown and a shuttle service to the stadium. We've got the full details on Missoulian.com. Have a great evening, Western Montana. Check back with us on Missoulian.com for updates and breaking news. And pick up a copy of Friday morning's print edition of the Missoulian for the most complete local news coverage in Western Montana. That's the 406 for Thursday, August 7th, 2014.